that your performance, surely, you will admit, was not as good as you would have liked. Well, look, um, I, I think Wes stated it very well, actually. He talked about the need for humility in places like Barnet. Um, let's, let's face it, we won... 2,350 council seats. Mm. The Conservatives won 1,232 council seats. Um, now, they lost 33 seats. We gained 77 seats. Would I have liked to have done better? You bet. What we're seeing is the way in which politics has been reshaped over the past few years with Brexit. Um, what I'm really pleased about is that in places like Plymouth, which was a leave area, we gained the extra seats that we needed in Plymouth to take back control of that council. Mm. Now, Plymouth is one of those areas which has had both Labour and Conservative MPs, um, and, and still does, and we look to take another seat. We've got a very good candidate, Holloway, down there, who, who, who we hope to take that seat can, 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 next can, time. Can, can I just so ask God, The indication is good in areas not only that are remain areas, but also critically that are leave areas. What, look at sure. Kirtley. And actually, if you look at places like Wandsworth, where it, if there had been 141 more votes in four wards, we would have won that council. We took... We needed 13 extra seats to win that council. Oh. We took uh, seven extra seats, and we could have done it with 141 more votes. How extraordinary that a Prime Minister goes running to Wandsworth to say, congratulations, guys, you've been wonderful. You only lost seven seats to the Labour Party. I mean... That is not a Prime Minister who sees the pinnacle of her success culminating in, an, in a general election victory next time.